Hi folks, G3 here, and welcome to another instalment of my journey to go green. Well folks, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy it, then please remember to click the like button. And also, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you get notified when I load up a new video. Right, let's get on with the video. And today we're leaving Dover and heading to GridServe in Braintree. That's the electric forecorks. We want to go and check it out whilst we're en route to Jimmy's farm. So um, let's get on the road. And, um, be be there. there. Hey. Electric forecorks. Now the sign are there. The there was a sign saying electric yeah. forecorks. Yeah. Excellent. We're almost there. Electric forecourt. Your destination will be on the left. The sigh is obstructed. Woo! Now your destination is on the left. Nice. Sunshine with us as well. Yeah. So they've got some um, uh, Tesla superchargers here. So. Okay, so they're not in use at the moment. Ah. Oh. Coming soon. Mm. A lot of people sitting down here and enjoy sunshine. Mm. And yellow, hojo. So we've got our CCS connector out here, and we are going to have to connect the vehicle, then tap the uh, contact list. So we're using the CCS connector. Okay, we're in. So the next stage. Connected okay. So I can present my card. Processing. I should use another card, don't mind. Card accepted. Verifying we're allowed to uh, start charging. And it's now charging. It's saying 100%, I'm not sure what that's on about, but it's charging. Green light showing on here. Lovely sunny day. There's a hand sanitizer unit there, an automated one. So you just put your hands in and it will come out with um, a dribble Hello. of um, sanitizer. Whilst we're waiting for the screen to uh, to restart, ob initial observations. Um, strange coming in because you've got to go all the way around the complex to come back in to park, uh, to, to charge. Um, the Tesla chargers aren't working at the moment. They've got covers over them, which is why they weren't showing up on screen. There's some charging bays further down. We will go through but there's some charging bays further down we're in the the 90 um zone there's a 350 zone in the middle the floor has marked in a different color as well yellow green ah yeah the bays yeah so we're in a yellow bay because we're in 90 um and over there they've got green for the um uh the faster charge the 350 extremely quiet isn't it apart from the um the noisy motorbike that was going past so we've arrived at um, GridServe, uh, the electric forecourt in Braintree. We're now charging up on the um, 90, yeah, up to 90 kilowatt chargers marked by the yellow bays. 350 kilowatt chargers in the middle are marked by the green bays. Um, lots of areas for sitting down and around the outside. We are going to be going in and using the facilities here. Obviously with COVID um, at the time, we. Um, uh, we're going to need to use our 
Masks, we've got our hand sanitizer with us. Huge amount, but we've got some with us. Social distancing? Um, yeah, we're going to be socially distanced. Um, we need the facilities in there, so we're going to see. This is WH Smith's, Costa, it could be nice to get coffee. Um, and I don't suppose we're able to use the seating upstairs, because obviously it's inside, but we'll be able to at least use the facilities. So um, let's get going. Yeah, it's um, it's linked up so you're charging um, here, so they're using the electricity from it. Nice bit of greenery. We're inside the um, grid serve um, building itself, the um, WH Smith store. It's got a refill station for Ecova. So you can bring your bottles and um, get them topped up. So laundry detergent, fabric softener and the washing up liquid. Looks like you're just gonna site the bottle in there, different size, open it up there and uh, reasonable um, reasonable price on the um, the refills. And then um, obviously just go and play over there, brilliant. And they've got a range of other bits and pieces, the Cheeky Panda, um, Blue Rolls and, and, and the like, and uh, all the Ecova cleaning products. And you got 20% off when you bring back the empty bottle and refill. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's a good price, isn't it? Mm. We also use the um, the loos upstairs, they were nice and clean. Can't use the seating at the moment because of uh, um, COVID, but um, certainly able to get food and the like from uh, from down here. Alcohol and, uh, and food stuffs. But we just need to grab something that we're able to to eat here. So imagine, yeah, the sort of sandwiches and stuff um, they've got here, um, part of the meal deals. So quite reasonable in the drinks. The newspapers and magazines here. Into frozen foods. Even more alcohol. Seems to be that people want to have a drink when they're wait waiting here. I only get free water at refills here. All right, so we're going to um, grab ourselves a coffee and some food, and we'll um, see you outside. So we've got our um, our food and drink from Costa. We're away from people, so we can un unmask and uh, and eat our food and have a drink and uh, enjoy the location. So it's the electric forecourt building and facilities over there. We're just gonna sit here and enjoy our food and drink for a bit. This is brilliant with the um, the packaging from Costa. It's um, cardboard, you're sort of able to pull in to, to get into it and it's just completely recyclable. It's retaining it really well. It seems to be fairly solid. It's just been made of um, old uh, paper cardboard and uh, can be fully recycled. I'd imagine the plastic on the lids is also recyclable obviously with the the cups is always an issue when you've got the the wax i know that there there are some cups available that are recyclable um and i've been trying to recycle one of those yes, in my it, compost bin take me to store okay to costa, recycled. okay so costa store will take it back to recycle which is great but uh, yeah so we'll take these back to costa but these so I'm very impressed, very good. We're finished at the electric forecourt. So we've charged up, we got up to 90%. So that's a nice uh, chunk for us. So what did I think of our first visit to GridServe's electric forecourt in Braintree? Well, there are lots of positives. There's lots of space as you're driving around. There's really clearly marked bays for you to um, park in. 
The contactless payment was fantastic. Just being able to plug in and just tap your card to um, to start the payment. It's absolutely amazing. Really simple, and it's how <laughs> just how it should be. The facilities in the building were great. Um, having the toilets there, the food, drink, and the possibility to sit down that was closed because of COVID at the at the time. I loved the free water refills in the shop area. That's great idea encouraging people just to be able to sort of uh, take their bottles refillable bottles with them and top them up and also the refill station for the ecover products that was fantastic so if you are a, um, a user of ecover and you can just take your bottles there top them up and, and get them while you're there that's great um, and on the subject of recycling the fact that costa were recycling their coffee cups that was also great and the packaging used for the food that was fantastic recyclable as well so those were all really great there was plenty of seating around actually in the charging area and all around the complex that was really good the hand sanitizer stations were fantastic because you could just put your hand underneath it would dri dribble out a bit for you and that's great that's what you need you didn't need to touch it and it was dispensed for you things that i wasn't so sure about well it's the fact that you've got to drive around the complex before you actually get to your charging point which i, I suppose is, is fine there must be a reason behind it but then when you're leaving you're also doing the same lap around the area so it's kind of like doubling the traffic that's going to go around that area. I know it's not a busy place. I just, I'm not really sure why it's done. It seemed a bit strange rather than being able to drive into the charging area straight away. I'm sure there must be some logic behind it. I just don't know what it is. Um, and one thing I didn't cover in the video was the first time that I pulled up, I pulled up on the wrong side. There were bays over on the left-hand side of the complex that I pulled into, and it meant that the cable wasn't long enough to reach the correct side of the vehicle. I have the charging flap on the left-hand side. I had to go round again and park on the right-hand bays so that the cable would reach. But all in all, I think that is a fantastic facility, and I recommend you visiting. They're going to be coming soon all over the place. I've seen that there was planning permission for one in Gatwick, and I believe that there was one further up north as well. I'm not too sure where. So there you go, folks. That was our journey to GridServe in uh, Braintree, the uh, electric forecourt. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please click the like button down below. And if you haven't done so already, then why not subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you get notified when I load up a new video. Well, until next time, bye.